Today is a big day here at Second Swing. We've got new Callaway Paradigm drivers to test out and review today. I've got Kevin Kraft, fitter from our Columbia store, flying in today to help us out. We'll show you everything that you need to know and hit some shots with TrackMan. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you give this video a like, and then you leave a comment and tell us what you think about the Paradigm drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, and I'm joined by Master club fitter, professional golfer, U.S. Senior Open participant, back-to-back -back years, Kevin Kraft. Uh, he's flown in today to the Twin Cities to help us review some new product. And today it's Callaway Paradigm Drivers. So, Kevin, I know you've done your homework a little bit. You've yep. looked at your uh, your notes on the Paradigm Drivers. We've got the standard and the triple diamond say to hit. So, uh, first impressions, you've looked at all the notes, you know about the tech. Um, first impressions, what do you think? Uh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, first thing, you know, I'm, I'm a very aesthetically oriented individual. Yeah. So, you know, the way a golf club looks mm -hmm. uh, is going to have a, a big, make a big impression on me. Um, the new color scheme is right. really nice. Yeah. It's, it's kind of got a almost like a smoky look behind the, the darker blue. Yeah. Uh, very appealing. Mm -hmm. um, shapes fairly similar, I think, to the Rogue. Not, yeah. not a huge departure, um, but Overall, you know, look-wise, looking down on that golf club, yeah. I think it's going to be very appealing to a lot of people. Yeah, I think so too. Um, and I think it, it, a lot of maybe the Callaway loyalists out there were expecting a, an epic model this year, right? Every odd year they've had a yeah. an epic series, um, but they've changed that this year with the Paradigm series. They, they're calling it a Paradigm shift in driver design. Um, new chassis, all carbon. Yep. A uh, bunch of weight removed from that, plus a new jailbreak design. Uh, new weight removed from that. So they're saving a ton of weight throughout these innovations. And I know that's a big deal for you in terms of moving that into the right spot, maybe improving the driver. Absolutely. Uh, you know, they haven't given us the exact numbers, but across the lines, 43, 44, or 45% lighter yeah. compared to the titanium chassis. Yeah. That's a lot of weight savings. So mm -hmm. they're going to be able to make this golf club do you know, a lot of different things for a lot of different players. Right. And if they want to move that weight forward and drive spin down, they want to put it all the way back and make mm -hmm. it really, really stable, really forgiving. Those are the kinds of things that, you know, an engineer gets really excited yeah. about. Right. And then the other thing piece too is, of course, in addition to the artificial intelligence design with the club face, they added a face cup, which yep. has been kind of their their method of adding explosiveness to irons and fairway woods. Yes. Now they've got it in the driver. So I know you've spoken as well highly about how explosive Callaway can be in the fairway woods. Absolutely. So excited to see that translate to the drivers here. Yeah, I mean, there's we're coming up against some limitations on what a company can do with a golf right. club, right? And so adding the face cup mm -hmm. to the to the paradigm should help us see some some little bit more right. explosiveness. And right. that's that's what everybody wants. Exactly. You know, year over year, this is getting harder oh, and yeah. harder. Oh, so yeah. uh, if they can throw some new tech in there and make it even better, exactly. They gotta, they that's gotta the whole goal, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we've got so three models for those. Again, we've got the paradigm model. So the paradigm model uh, is offered at nine, ten and a half, and twelve. You've got stock shafts of the Aldilla Ascent Blue. Project X Hazardous Silver, and then also the Project X Black. Um, the Paradigm X model, that's gonna be a more kind of forgiving model, a little bit more perhaps draw bias in yep. there. Yep. Um, that one has a little Ascent Blue and Hazardous Silver as well, but also offered in, in a 10 and a half and 12. And then the Triple Diamond model, uh, that's the one that has become more and more popular, especially on tour, right? The players that are chasing distance and low spin. Yep. That's that low spin model, comes with eight degree option this year, which I know is the big change has not been offered from Callaway in the past. And then you also have that uh, Mitsubishi Kylie shaft yes. as an option as well. So yes. that, that's a bit of a change in that triple diamond model. Yes, um, you know, they have to throw some new shafts in there every now and then. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's good to see them changing things year over year to give, give the players more options. Oftentimes we're gonna see previous models still stay in line. So it gives us as fitters uh, more options to work mm -hmm. with as well. Yeah, for sure. So Kevin, we've got drivers here. You've got TrackMan. Mm, it's a good thing. Yeah, you want to hit some shots? <laughs> Let's hit some shots. All right. All right, well, Kevin, uh, give me your first impression. You got the club in your hand now. You're looking down at it at a dress. What do you see? So this is the, the regular paradigm. Yep. Um, I really like the way it looks. We do have a glossy finish yeah. this year versus the the matte from last yeah. year, and obviously the color schemes considerably sure. different. Um, we do have the little bit of a you know, difference with the the bright carbon uh, mm -hmm. blue, and then you know the matte of yeah. the of the face. 
kind of frames things up pretty well, I think. Uh, the regular paradigm has Callaway's Chev logo, kind of the yep. reminder of where, where we want to be lining things right. up or where we're trying to hit it. <laughs> um, shape's good. Uh, it doesn't look, doesn't really look shut. Yeah. And it doesn't really look open. So okay. and when they say neutral at address, I think that's it's pretty neutral. Pretty, sure. Yeah, it's pretty neutral. One thing so. too, I think is, I'm going to be curious to hear feedback from other players is just if they like this kind of matte, kind of gray or black kind of stripe on the leading edge there. Seems to be the way most of the companies are it going seems, though. You know, yeah, they're trying to push more carbon fiber, more forward, obviously yeah. weight savings and, right. and stuff. So, um, I think we're going to see this a lot in a lot sure. of these golf clubs, in, yeah. you know, this year and, mm -hmm. and going forward. So uh, people may have to get used to it. So. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> it, it's not. It's it's appealing. It, it looks yeah. good, and, it's, and it looks like a golf club, right? Which is kind of important in this whole yeah, thing. I think so. People want a golf club that looks like a golf club. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Let's see okay. a few swings here. All right. All right. So first thought, first shot there. Thoughts on that? Very solid. Yeah. Um, compared with the Rogue, it feels maybe just a little firmer okay. coming off the coming off the sure. face. Um, it feels explosive though. It feels like the ball really does yeah, jump. Just kind of takes off. Um, you know, looking at the numbers, spin rate's nice and low. Um, ball's chasing out there pretty good. Yeah, it is. Um, 105 miles an hour. I got a little more in me somewhere. There we'll you go. I know, I know. That. But uh, yeah, I mean, from a from a feel standpoint, um, definitely feels fast. Good. And that's what we want in yeah. drivers. We oh, want yeah. something that feels like the ball is really going to jump right, off. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. A little more speed there. Oof. Turned it over. A little more turn. Club pass coming hard from the inside this morning. I've been there before. <laughs> I think we've all been there before. All right. Well, club head speed came up anyway, so that's good. Ooh, interesting on that one. The Tiger Stinger. Yeah? Yeah, we're, that's what we're gonna go with on that. <laughs> I have made some changes to my golf swing, and I have noticed... A little bit lower launch. Lower launch. And so my attack angles dropped about five degrees. Yeah. So uh, I actually lofted this one up. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually at 10 degrees and I'm normally not a, a 10 degree player, but uh, a couple warm up swings, the ball did seem to be yeah. kind of staying down. So um, when, you know, when we're pairing low spin, we want to get that launch angle up, yeah. get the best performance. Right. So let me see if I can get one up in the air here. It looked like it launched a little bit higher. That was the best strike. It just got a lot of turn. It's turning on you for it sure. It is turning on me. But it's it's not like it's it, it's interesting because a lot of times you see spin that low and it kind of drawn like that. You you sometimes see the ball get out of control and then dive. Yes. I don't think it's really diving necessarily. We had maybe that second or the second or third one that maybe was a little sharper turn yeah. that maybe did, but yeah. that one didn't really dive out of the sky, which is I think based on what I've seen, you know, we've got one of, one of the wonderful things on the on the regular par paradigm is we have the ability to throw some weight around, um, you know, maybe moving this weight up a little bit to the toe, kind of right. hold that face yeah. open just a little tiny bit. Obviously, going up and loft, probably closing the face down just a little tiny bit. Yeah. Um, you know, there's some ways that we can kind of, right. you know, counteract yeah. some of those mm -hmm. things. That's going left. I know I started a little bit left of where. Yeah. You see, yeah. I was trying to I was trying to make a, a little bit of a change to the club path. So for some reason my club path's getting a little hard from the inside today. So mm -hmm. tried to cut that down a little bit. And All right. it, uh Well let's let's didn't let's work. do let's get one let's get one more. Let's okay. get one more good yeah. one here and we'll maybe I know there's a couple of those swings that weren't sound necessarily like a, sound like a fitter. No. Well, I'm not. <laughs> let's try to get one more good one here. Well, that one was struck well. There oh, we there go. we go. There, there, there we, go. we go. We found it. We found it. I knew it. it was in there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a matter Look of bringing that. it out. Now, that I can live with. Okay. <laughs> Good. So, just quickly, we'll go over these, these numbers here. I've got them up on the screen. You know, we're smashed at 148, spin a little over 2,000. You're carrying a little over 250 to almost 290 rollout. Um, 
Anything here? I mean, any takeaways here? I know you were, you were, uh, I know on average you were hitting it lower and kind of yeah. maybe more curved than you um, would hope, but then there was sort of this uh, shot number six here is kind of the big one here that you kind yeah, of achieved from a, what you wanted to there. From a numbers standpoint, you know, I said it felt like it was coming off the face really fast. Yeah. One four eights and one four nines. Yeah. I mean, that's. It's not bad. You know, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's not one five zero, but it's not bad. Especially, you know, you did loft it up to ten yes. or whatever it is. And I think probably legitimately based on the spin rates, and we got very consistent we spin there yeah. too, which is awesome. We really like to see that nice yeah. consistency on spin rates. Um, with that low spin, I gotta get that loft up a little higher. It's it just the ball needs to get up in the air. Yeah. If we're gonna hit it with low spin, the higher yeah. we can get it to go, the better off. I suppose we're if you see. were fitting yourself, we have the so you, these are the nine degree heads lofted yeah. up to ten. You'd yeah. you'd probably go ten and a half with uh, in the standard yes, loft, right? Absolutely. Um, which both of these models are are offered in. So yeah. All right. I think it's time for the triple diamond. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. So, Kevin, the triple diamond there. Do you yep. shape wise is it? Can you tell it's a lot more yes. compact? Yeah. It's you can't really tell that it's that much more compact. It's but it's definitely differently shaped. Yeah. Uh, whereas the the paradigms designed to be a little higher MOI. Yeah. Uh, it's a little wider in a couple spots. Um, this definitely has uh, a more of a fade bias shape. Yeah. That, you know the players want that workability. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to see the ball turning left. I don't want to see the ball turning left. Yeah. Um, so from a from a setup standpoint, it definitely looks like its window is going to be further to the right than, than what sure. we saw with the Paradigm. Sure. Um, other things, you know, they, they took away the, the Callaway Chev oh, yeah. on the top. So um, Interesting. they're assuming that you know where to put the golf ball, <laughs> uh, you know, at, at yeah. setup. Um, I love this shape. I think yeah. this shape is, is exceptionally appealing, uh, just like I did with the Rogue Triple Diamond. I actually thought the Rogue Triple Diamond was maybe the best looking golf club of the year last year. Okay. Um, you know, again, I'm very aesthetically oriented. Yeah. So, uh, you know, looking down at something, this just really appeals to me. The shape is really, really yeah. good. Good, yeah. good, yeah. Uh, Cowboy's always done well in the shapes, usually. With the yeah, they, they have. Uh, they've done a really good job. Uh, with this one, we've got uh, just, whereas the, the Paradigm's got the, weight adjuster in the back yep. we have two options with the paradigm triple diamond we've got a heavier weight in the in the right. front designed to drive spin down yep. designed, uh, designed to drive uh, launch down and then those can be flopped so right. if you're if you're seeing too low spin which i don't know we might potentially see here <laughs> uh i might actually benefit from you know you know, putting the swapping in, those weights right. and, and making this golf club a little bit more forgiving. Sure. So, um, you know, it's designed for somebody that maybe does either spin it a little bit more than, than they want, or that person that's really looking for, for the ultimate work, ultimate workability yeah. control. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see a few swings here. Okay. Let's see what we got this time. Okay. There's triple diamond at work. <laughs> So was that, I'm, I'm curious, because it's, it's funny, we went from one club right to the next, and you were starting it on a similar line, uh -huh. and it just didn't turn over. So it's okay. kind of that, we mentioned the fight, the fade bias. I'm definitely blaming the equipment. Yeah. Um, it, this did what it's supposed to do, Yeah. right? It, it's not designed to really correct anything. Yeah. So, you know, my path was better on this one, so I'm happy about that. Um, Launch seemed to be okay. Trajectory is not terrible. Spin rate's kind of in the same frame, a little bit lower. Yeah. Again, what it's right. supposed to be, um, but that one did not even right. try to come back. Well, it's interesting because you normally you see a ball go right, and you see that spin that's a little higher generally, but it's usually down yes. here. Yeah. Um, Some of so. that can be impact location, right? Could if, if you're catching it a little to the toe, yeah. you get that bomber that might have really really low spin. Right. Um, but you can also obviously you can yeah. see that that spin rate come up. All right, let's see if we can straighten this one out. Huh, speaking of coming off the toe. Okay, so we got a little gear effect on this one. There we one. go. All there right, we go. that's fine. Yeah. Numbers are, again, right. pretty decent overall. The spin hasn't really been driven. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like, you, I mean, you're still in the center of the face for the most, I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's <laughs> to the toe. It, it felt like it was to the no, toe. No, yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess when I miss the toe, 
It's like out there, you know. You're using twist face. Yeah, I suppose. You are not. You're a better player than that. I, Though we can all use me. a little twist believe face every me. now and then. Yeah, I've, sure. I've hit it way out there before. <laughs> there yeah. it is again. Interesting. Yeah. It's just not coming back. Mm. And it's staying low spin, too. That's the thing I'm most intrigued by is, and it's not even like it's jumping up and down either. The spin is staying low. Yeah, and even it's, if it's not turning like yeah, a it's been very steady across yeah. across both, both heads. models. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. All right, so let's see what happens with this one because this was caught low. Okay. All right. So I mean, I mean it's you, you got away with it. It's not you yeah. definitely lost some distance. Yeah. As miss hits go, this is kind of what we want from from yeah. a miss hit, right? We saw the spin jump up a little bit, but it didn't go crazy. It didn't right? go crazy, and it's still in play. Yeah, um, I mean, I lost 25 yards in carry and 20 yeah. yards in total distance, but it was a miss hit. Yeah. What, what do we expect, right? Yeah, so. plus that's the least forgiving driver of the yes. series. Yes, So maybe you, you hit a Paradigm or a Paradigm X and that type of shot will not vary as much, probably. Yeah, yeah exactly. Ooh, okay, that one was that hit one. pretty good. You hit the 160. And it's low. It's low. And it's low spin. Which is the club. Which yeah, yeah. I mean it is it is designed to be the lowest yeah. spinning of the of the group. So you know that was hit pretty solid. I like the I got the speed up a little bit. I like seeing the ball speed come up like that. Yeah. Um, Which I think a, a club like that also does, you know, it's gonna help you with the ball speed and the smash is gonna go up a little bit when yeah. you hit it well. Uh, for the most part. Yeah. Um it's just for fun here. We'll look at this so we can kind of see it. And again, I know. Not all of your best swings by any means. Um, I know how you can swing the club. Human. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think it shows, too, the differences in the clubs, right? Yeah. Um, I think you see how the Paradigm, able to turn it over, more consistent on that map. Yep. And then you look at the numbers over here on the right, and you can see the spin was dipping a little bit. And you saw that, was it the launch that was a little bit lower, maybe? Height was, oh, it's pretty similar, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, oh, the fade bias part definitely showed up. I so. actually got slightly better numbers off the, the triple diamond, though yeah. my spread was was wider, yeah. which, I mean, honestly, that's this golf club's doing exactly what this golf club's supposed to do. It's inherently, based on the way it's built, you're likely to have a little bit right. more dispersion. Um, it is designed technically for a little bit better player. Right. Um, you know, eh. <laughs> But it, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Yeah. Just like that one did exactly right. what it's supposed to do. Right. And I think, um, I think you know, it, kudos to you, by the way, for swinging very similarly for, because <laughs> I I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean, your dynamic loft is the exact same. Your club speed's the, more or less the same. Pretty close. So um, we've got a good test here. We also saw, we saw a little bit more ball speed with the Paradigm Triple yep. Diamond. It felt a little faster. Yeah. To me. Okay. I mean, I understand that we're talking about half a mile an hour, yeah. but it felt a little okay. faster. Okay. Well, I think we've got we've got some good numbers up there. We've got some conclusions that we've drawn. Let's uh, let's sum it up in our final thoughts here, and then um, we'll let the viewers decide for themselves when they order the driver. All right, so Kevin, testing complete there. We did hit the Paradigm and the Paradigm Triple Diamond. Uh, not able to test the Paradigm X today, unfortunately, but um, I think you got some good conclusions that we've drawn, some things that we, you probably know now going into the fitting bay. Sure. Going in and players interested in the Callaway drivers, mm -hmm. you kind of already have a good, uh, I guess, idea of what you'll be looking forward to see in Definitely. these fittings, right? Definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with the Paradigm, uh, this is the one that Callaway expects is going to fit the, the widest range yeah. of golfers. Um, it's not it's not biased really one way or the other. Right. Uh, it gives us fitters a really nice opportunity to change some shot shape. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe Callaway says we have about uh, 12 yards of shot right. shape change with, weight with the, the weight in the back. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've got the adjustable hosel. We can right. throw a little more draw in there if we need to. But uh, I think it's going to appeal to a lot of people. Uh, visually, it's a it's a really good looking golf club. Um, you yeah, know, it's there's nothing about this that that I didn't like. Yeah, 
That's good. That's good. And then when we didn't hit today, Paradigm X. So yeah. that is, I guess, the X Extreme Forgiveness, right? Um, it's going to help players maybe launch the ball a little bit higher in the air. Correct. And then you also have maybe some some added weight in the heel there. So a little more, so, little more draw bias right. for those that do struggle with that ball falling mm -hmm. off to the right a little bit. It's going to give us a little bit more shot shape uh, adjustment than, than the regular yeah. Paradigm. Right. Yeah. And then uh, of course the Triple Diamond that we tested here at the end. Uh, so that one, I imagine. You'll, if you're fitting that one for somebody, they're mm -hmm. probably either a skilled player, someone that spins the ball a lot, or someone that really is maybe a kind of go hand in hand with the skilled player, but looking for workability control. That yes. Type of so, what's nice if you look at the way Callaway's adjustable hosel works, they have a neutral and then a draw version, mm -hmm. a draw uh, setting, and then the lofts. Yeah. So, what we don't have with Callaway typically is something that's going to correct an overturn to the left. So triple diamond can be for that as well. Uh, we have nice ability to, to make this golf club a little more forgiving yep. or really you know, go after that spin, yeah. attack that spin, bring the launch down, make it a very workable golf club. But this one's definitely got a little more of that right side bias. And boy, did we see that when yeah. I swung it. Yeah. Uh, that ball wanted to, really wanted to hang out right. there to the right. So. Well, and there's there's players out there that, that need that right bias. I yes, mean, I know absolutely. The, I know the slice is the more kind of popular Correct. miss that's yeah. out there. But there are players that go left on, on occasion yes. uh, a lot more than maybe right. And Triple Diamond can help. So Absolutely. Uh, Paradigm Drivers, I think pretty good stamp of approval definitely, here from yeah. Mr. Kevin Kraft. So, Golfers, if you're interested in the Paradigm Driver, schedule your fitting at Second Swing. Someone like Kevin will take care of you in the fitting bay, get you dialed in with a new Paradigm Driver right for your swing. Uh, Kevin, thanks for joining. Absolutely. Uh, really good insight, and uh, I think Kelly did really well with these drivers. I think they did too. It'll be a good year.